With PC gaming on the rise, most people know about the almighty Steam and other places like Origin or the ever so terrible Uplay, but did you know there's actually many other places to buy your games? Hello everybody, I'm Canadian Penguin, and today I'm going to show you all the places I prefer to buy my PC games because there's tons of places to buy them from. Also, please note I'm not being paid to promote any of these sites, I just think they deserve a lot more attention than they get because they're fantastic places to buy your games. Now to start, I'm going to talk about a little site called GreenManGaming.com. Greenman Gaming, hands down, is probably my favorite site to buy games from. From their VIP sales, abundance of 20 plus percent off coupons, and in some cases, their prices when not using US dollar works in your favor. This is just an amazing site to buy from because it's a lot cheaper than Steam, and your games are redeemed on Steam anyways from that site, but you pick them up for a lot cheaper than you would on Steam. My own example of the US dollar working in your favor is the last game I bought for them, which was GTA V. I bought the game from Greenman Gaming for $59.99 US dollar, then brought it down because of the 20% off coupons, and on top of that I only paid $48 Canadian when I should have been paying $57 Canadian due to the conversion rate. So if you live in Canada, I'd highly recommend this site, but the downside of this is pretty much for anyone outside of North America. I'm going to use Project Cars as an example. Project Cars on Green Man Gaming is £39.99. They don't convert it even remotely correctly. As many of us know, or at least should know, that the one pound does not equal one US dollar. But to put the conversion into perspective, if you were to buy Project Cars on Green Man Gaming using pounds, it would come out to almost 63 US dollars, when it should only cost 49.99 US dollars for the conversion. Taking advantage of this is extremely wrong, but sometimes companies just can't help it, it's not entirely always their fault. One site that also believes that that conversion isn't fair is the next site I want to talk about, which is GOG.com. GOG.com is another one of my favorite sites to buy from. If you like DRM-free games and fairness to other currencies, then this site is for you. GOG, standing for Good Old Games, used to be the one-stop shop for older games that were not found on Steam but since then they've branched out to newer games such as Metro Last Light, Kerbal Space Program, and most notably The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Speaking of The Witcher, if you're considering buying the game, I would strongly recommend buying it from here instead of on Steam. When you buy it on GOG, not only do you get the game and its season pass for the same price as just buying the game on Steam, you also get extra discounts if you own other Witcher games. Also, GOG is part of the CD Projekt group, so the money you spend on the game goes pretty much directly to the developers as they own the site pretty much. Also, as mentioned earlier, GOG strongly believes in their fair price package, where they understand that one pound doesn't equal one US dollar. If the game costs more in your country than in the US, they make up the difference and give it to you as in-store credit to be used whenever you want, pretty much, on your next order. I really think this is awesome of GOG to do, and that's why I think anyone outside of North America should really check them out. You should check them out anyways, as it's an awesome site that even re recently launched a program called GOG Galaxy that's kind of like Steam, but still in the works. It's optional and not needed to buy their games, which is awesome because all their games are DRM free if you want to. And also if you plan on buying The Witcher 3, make sure to buy it from them. Do you like charity? Do you like being humble? Or do you just like bundles? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then HumbleBundle.com is for you. They have plenty of games from the before mentioned Project Cars to exclusive deluxe editions like The Escapists Humble Deluxe Edition. Their prices for individual games are kinda steep and can be found for cheaper on other sites. But it's humble bundles, well, humble bundles, that really make it an awesome site. The bundles contain many games that use a pay-as-you-want system, but some games are locked to certain price brackets. Using the last bundle I bought as an example, which was the Square Enix 2 bundle, it included games like Hitman Absolution, Supreme Commander, and others at a pay-as-you-want tier. Then games like Thief 2014 and Deus Ex Human Revolution in a beat-the-average-price tier. I'd say sign up for their emails to get notified of the best bundles because, oh, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of their bundles just really aren't that appealing, to me at least, but I'd still sign up for their emails anyway, so just get notified on when the really good bundles are coming out, because sometimes some of the bundles are just phenomenal and you get tons of games for a really good price and you're helping charity. Now, I'm not really gonna spend a lot of time on this one as I'm guessing all of you know it, everyone knows it, but Steam is another good place to buy games with over 4 million plus people online at once every day, it is easily the gateway into PC gaming. Everyone loves Steam for their legendary sales, massive online community, but some things on Steam really aren't all that great. 
customer support is just awful. Games tend to be more expensive here unless they're on sale, and everything is DRM locked on Steam, and they really hold a monopoly on the whole PC gaming market. Hopefully with sites mentioned before, can help break up the monopoly as the market could really use some competition to bring the prices of games down. Like how not too long ago every PC game was $49.99 for new releases, but now they've jumped back up to $59.99, which are pretty much the same price as the console new releases are. In all reality though, every PC gamer has Steam. It's pretty much the Xbox Live and PSN of the PC universe, but it's free. But there's not really much we can do about that. Even with GOG's Galaxy on the horizon, I don't think GOG Galaxy is really gonna give Steam a run for its money personally, but I do think GOG Galaxy is a really nice program. Lastly, for my top five, I just want to talk about Origin. Origin gets a pretty bad rep, mainly to do that they're pretty much EA's game distribution service. And I mean, EA hasn't exactly done the best things in the past. But I'm not gonna lie, their customer support is absolutely fantastic. From experience, I can agree this is one thing that they do right. Other than that, Origin is sadly the only place to buy EA games, so if you want to buy a Battlefield or the upcoming Star Wars Battlefront, this is sadly the only place to buy it. Just as an example of how, like, my experience with Origin's customer service is I was going to buy Battlefield 4, but I didn't want to buy it because I already bought premium for it on my Xbox when I used to play on Xbox. So I didn't want to have to buy premium again because you're pretty much missing half the game if you don't have premium. So I, I messaged customer support and asked them if they'd be able to like transfer my premium over from Xbox Live onto my PC account. And they were like, yeah, sure, that's no problem. Here's a 20% off coupon. So their customer support is fantastic and that's the one thing that they really do right. Now I'm gonna throw in a little honorable mention here, but the last site I wanna talk about is G2A.com. This site is really a use at your own risk type site, as it's pretty much individual people selling their keys for a game. So say if you have a key for, I don't know, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 or something, and you want to sell it, you can go to this site and sell it. And it's just a, it's pretty much a way for you to sell your key, and G2A takes some profit, but leaves you with most of it. I've heard some good things and some bad things about this site. And the only tip I can really pass along is to always buy the G2A shield on all purchases. The G2A shield is pretty what protects you from getting scammed on the site. And if you get scammed, they'll refund your money back. And it's like an extra dollar or something. I mean, it's really not that big of a difference, but the, their prices are a lot cheaper because it's people selling their keys for how much they want to sell them for. There's no kind of regulation here about how the minimum they can sell it for. It's how much they want to sell it for, which is nice but you can get scammed on the site. I've heard people say that they've been scammed on it, but the G2A shield is really what protects you from being scammed. So if you do plan on using this site, always pick up that G2A shield. So I just want to thank you all for watching the video. I hope it was informative and helped you find better places to buy your games other than just Steam, even though I really only mentioned five other places than Steam, because Steam was on the list and so was Origin, but so yeah, like four other places to buy your games from. I hope it was informative. If you liked the video, make sure to leave it a like, leave me a comment if you wish, I love getting comments, or subscribe to get notified for whatever I put out next. I'll leave links to these sites in the description, and I will see you all in the next video.